Uh, hello everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'm going to be tying up a uh, uh, intruder steelhead salmon uh, fly. Uh, it's kind of a freestyle, like I kind of have an idea which way I want to go, so um, similar to other ones that I use and tie, so I just thought I'd play around uh, on uh, camera this time. So, alrighty, so let's get going because usually these take a little bit, so... Alrighty, uh, starting off with a partridge of Redditch. Uh, this is a double Waddington chain, uh, size 35 mil. Um, later, I'll, for my trailing hook, I'll use a Mustad uh, Ultra Point, size 4. Um, Going to be using some Fireline for the trailing hook. Unfortunately, I don't have, normally I use 25 to 30 pound. I only have 15. It'll do. I just have to be more careful <laughs> when I'm fishing. Um, Semperfly Nano Silk for the thread, and then I've got a myriad of uh, um, like I got some uh, blue and pink uh, dubbing. I've got some mallard flank in blue. I've got some schloppen in blue. I've got some ostrich in blue. I've got some some uh, pink mallard flank. I've got some pink uh, hackle fibers. So see where we go. Oh, and I got some pink uh, foxtail as well. Like I said, see where we end up here. Okay, I'm actually going to turn this flat. And I'm going pretty tight here. I want this to tighten this up. Close this gap up. So I find it imperative to use a, a good thread on these. That's why I really like these nano silks that are the GSPs. It just really can crank on stuff. So, so I'm just going to match my line this up here. I'm going to go through my and figure out roughly how long I want it. Uh, it should be about there. There. Yeah, that's about good there. So I'm just going to just in open ramp wraps. Crank that all the way back to there. And then I'm going to come back again over top in open wraps. I'm going to turn this upside down. Straighten that out in the vise come through from the bottom, crank that that way, lay it back this way. I like really making sure that these trailing hook um, materials, whatever you're using, are cranked down really, really well. I don't like, uh, I don't like surprises that they, you know, yeah, steelhead especially, a fish of a thousand casts and then it breaks on you yeah it sucks so it uh, let's go on you is what I meant so again back through all the way back so I've gone back and forth three four times now I know that's not going nowhere so excuse my reach there alrighty so there is my trailing hook ready to rock when I'm ready. Okay, all the way back here. Let us start with a blue. I'm gonna make a little bulge at the end here in blue. Okay, so I'm gonna wax my thread. Take my blue. I said I kind of got an idea of which kind of the direction ish that I'm going, but not a hundred percent. So, and just right there, I'm going to make a little bit of a, a bulb. It wasn't enough. This is just going to help flare out my materials that I'm going to put in. It gets seen, but not overly. So. Alrighty, now I'm going to take some pink um, fox here, foxtail. I'm just going to take a chunk of this with a little bit of scissors and my 
material clamp. And I'm just going to cut a about a about a finger's width clump out of there off the tail. Move my garbage can closer so I don't have to keep reaching. And then I take and I pinch really hard these tips. And then what I'll do is on the on the ground on my desk here. I'm just gonna brush this out and see you ready. You can see the under fur. Need a nice nice firm brush for that. So you want to get like this is all under fur that came out. Now keep that. It uh, it's great dubbing. So I got that. Gonna put this into a material clip. Once I get my length, not about that long, so I'm just cut that there. And I'm gonna put this into a. Actually, I don't even need to put this into a material clip, just because it's the way that it's sitting in my fingers here. I'm just gonna put this into a dubbing loop. right up tight there and then I'm going to spread it out pull it a little bit closer so I don't have those big butt sections and then spread this out really nicely spread it out I want this about probably about two to three inches long so there once it's spread out a good spin one and then I just like just making sure there's nothing trapped and then I'll just wrap this stroke in this material back every time I go around wrap it back wrap it back okay I'm gonna just come back to the tie-in point there where you stopped. Just make sure that's locked in well. And then I'll clean that up in a second here because it looks like dog poop. So I'm just gonna make sure I stroke this all back. Actually just take my brush, make sure there's nothing really trapped. Let's go right over top of that. Alrighty, so there's my back portion. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of the Silver Doctor Blue or Kingfisher Blue Ostrich Hurl. Depending on the quality of your hurl, it, uh, it'll tell you how many pieces you need to put in. I can tell you right off the bat, this is not the best, this one. So I'm, I'm only going to put maybe six in the back end here. So I'll take two or three and I'll put them right in on top. And I want to, where's my, whoop, whoop, there's my, so my hook's going to go to about there, so I want this to be past it. So about like that, and I'm going to put this right on the top. Okay, and then I'm going to get a couple more. Yeah, I prefer, uh, I actually prefer ostrich feathers. I actually prefer Rhea, but Rhea is so expensive. Um, but I prefer thinner ostrich feathers. These are pretty thick. So let's just see if I can get a couple decent ones here. Yep, there we go. So I'm putting two on this side. 
just gonna spread them out a bit and then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna put two on that side that's three I won't take one away about the same length again push that off loose wrap just make sure these sit on the side actually nicely spread that's good tie those butts down okay and I'm not putting anything on the bottom okay so now um, one thing I did forget and I'll just quickly grab some flash So I'm just gonna grab some, uh, this is the uh, Colorado mix from Semperfly. So it's got blues and reds and purples and stuff like that in it. So I'm just gonna take a couple, two, three strands, not too, too many, I don't wanna go nuts. And I'm gonna lay that same length, lay that roughly down that, this side, tie it in it over to the other side tie that in it's almost perfect length that's it like I said just a couple of pieces and then just take one or two more and put them on top like there And that's that portion. So now I'm just going to get some. Oh, what color do I want to go? I want to go with a blue body. I have blue and large. Yeah, that's uh, medium, but uh, what's this one? There's purple. Ooh, large, oh, not large. There we go. So it's just some uh, holographic, uh, blue holographic. Um, hollow tinsel. And then I'm just going to wrap it forward, overlapping. Make sure that last wrap is covered halfway just for security. Oh, I hope I actually cut enough off. <laughs> One more turn here. There we go. I did it barely, but I made it. Cut that off. So now I'm going to grab a uh, set of dumbbell eyes and this is up to you what size you want to use here. You can use large, you can use medium, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to use, uh, these are a kind of a medium dumbbell with uh, red eyes. Okay, I'm going to tie this in right about there. Uh, maybe a little bit forward. Okay, just get that tied in really nicely. You can put some crazy glue on or whatever if you want, but that's pretty tight. With this nano silk, you can really crank that down. So, okay, so now we're just gonna kind of repeat that process. We're gonna do a little bit different at the front, but we're gonna repeat uh, parts of that, part of that process. So, uh, where'd my dubbing go? There we go. So I'm gonna go back over top of that body a bit. So I'm gonna go back here, about there, and wax. I do 
dog sneezing in the background, of course. I'll just get that dubbing kind of started there. And then once I get going, I'll twist as I, I'll tighten as it catches. There you go. So this uh, that I'm using right now, it's a uh, Crystal Seal Kingfisher Blue from Umqua. Okay, not my favorite dubbing, but I like the color. Um, okay, same thing. I'm going to take a finger full or so of the pink. Cut that off. The uh, Foxtail. Pinch, 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 real hard brush out all that under fur that we don't want so it just bulks things up you don't want that stuff okay again same thing let's make a dubbing loop dubbing spinner fingers out of there that in actually I should have cut it first I'm gonna pull that back out and cut it because I don't want it that quite that long and I'll put it back in there we go so put it back in same procedure as last time spread this out you know to a couple of inches at least because you want this to go around the fly right so give it a good pinch good spin I'll just hold the thread out of the way Either that or turn your device, either way. Okay, once that's pretty good, then you can take your brush and just to make sure none of those fibers are, are caught. Around. This is a little bit more difficult now because of the eye. I could have done this portion first and then done the eye, but it'll be fine. Once you've got all this material pulled back, it's fine anyway. I'm just pulling all that material back every time I go around. So I'm just locked that in. I'll clean that all up. It looks like crap right now, but I will clean that up. So I'm just going to stroke all these pink fibers back. Since there's no hook here, I don't have to worry about my fingers in the back. So I'll just go over top of that a bit. You see, I'm going back over top of that material and then I'll take my brush and I'll just brush it backwards just to make sure nothing's caught and then lay it back that way again alrighty yeah it probably would have been better doing this portion with the eyes off, but all good. So, um, some more, some more um, ostrich, three or four for the top, three. So I'm gonna go right to about there. Make sure they stay in the middle. Spread those out a little bit. And if there's a little shorty like that, pull it out. Fold those tips over if you can, just to tie them in. If you can't, just nip them off. Okay. Couple on the side, on each side.
one. Turn that. Lay this in this side. Make sure those are spread. Yeah, there we go. I'll lay that tip down if you can. And now I'm going to come back over top of those. zoom out a bit with my camera just so you get, get the whole thing and then I'm going to grab some of the flash again three four for the two sides stuff's going to get all covered with the thread anyway of the head but I just want to just because I'm being picky a couple more this is kind of inspired by oh now I'm having a brain for it of what's his name um, used to run the fly shop in Coquitlam um, so this is kind of his um, happy endings fly uh, kind of, but different. Okay. Now I'm going to take a couple of these pink hackle fibers. And I'm going to lay it right down the side here. And I want these longer than the, than the rest of these. Okay, that's one. there and I like I know it makes a bit of a mess but I like leaving that all these little fur pieces on in this when I tie it in it just helps for grip all the fuzz on the ends it's all gonna get covered anyway so it doesn't really matter what this looks like right at the moment okay so there's our two now I could put more in if I wanted but I, I like that's enough for my taste. Um, now I'll take a piece of um, the mallard flank here. It's going to be the large in blue. So this is quite quite large, this one. And I'm going to strip back all my feathers here, all my fluff here. And then I'm going to expose my tip. that's tied in so three four five wraps and then I'm going to fold back that front section and then I can cut that off again I'm not overly picky because this is all going to get covered so this area at least is so again just every time you go around nice and tight against the last wrap if possible and stroke it all back stroke it all back it's so only just giving a little collar there all oh, that's giving okay Cut that off make sure that's tied in nice just break those feathers up from sticking to each other okay then if I want to, I can put a little bit of um, um, mallard, uh, shallop in there. But what I like doing here is I like doing a, a pink um, dubbing head. So let's see if this stuff will dub it a little bit better. This is well, this is old stuff too from Semperfly. Ah, uh, Semperfly from Superfly. But we'll see. So I'm going to just give this a really good waxing. 
Now this is again a semi-seal. I really like this pink. This, this particular pink is, is really cool. It's just a really nice pink. So now what I'm going to do is a couple of wraps right there and then in figure eight it through the eyes there and then build a bit of a head in the front here and I won't cut this off yet because I want to pull out this pink with a brush and if there's not enough which I can tell you right now it's not enough um, I like being able to add more right I can tell that right here is not enough right there yeah there we go So I'll just leave that for now. I'm gonna grab my dubbing brush. Now it's up to you which one you what kind you like, but uh really like this stone full one and I just like plain and simple popsicle stick with uh, velcro on it. Pretty happy with that. So now I'm just going to build up a bit of a head. Not a ton. Just a little bit of a head. And then I'm going to whip finish. And then I will finish that all up with uh, with some UV resin. And this is ready to fish. That's it. So I'm going to get lots of movement out of this fly. Um, these, this ostrich will, will, will move like crazy, so will these, uh, these two squid legs, if you want to call it that. Um, the hackle fibers, um, they'll move like crazy as well. Um, this thing will breathe a lot because of that, that dubbing and that fox in there will help it stay open and it'll just kind of pulsate through the water. All right, so yeah. Um, yeah, you can see that it's, it's a little naked on the bottom. That's on purpose. That's so water can get through there. Um, and this will pulsate like that. And then, like I said, all I got to do is add whatever kind of hook I want on the back end. In this case, like I said, I will be adding a must add ultra point in a size four. Uh, it depends on what you're going for. Um, obviously, with this one now, because I only was able to use 15 pound fire line, um, I'd have to be really careful with it. I'll mark this one um, with, a, with a dot or something like that, just to, so I remember. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that one's got. That one's got. Uh, a weaker um, trailing hook um, um, line so you know just so I remember but yeah hope that one helped you guys I hope you guys uh, if you guys like steelhead and, and, and salmon and stuff this is believe me this is a is a, a deadly fly uh, this color combination is pink and, and, and silver doctor blue um, and then pink and purple deadly so alrighty Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If you uh, subscribe, thank you. And leave some comments, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see. So, uh, particular flies, particular style, tries, nymphs, uh, more of this kind of stuff, more tropical. Um, yeah, just let me know what you want to see, and uh, I'll do my best to accommodate. Tight lines, everyone. <laughs>